Hey everyone, welcome to the Weavester 18 channel, Papa Weave here is Friday, May 22nd. Hey guys, I want to start out a little different. Uh, I got a, a comment, an email from one of our big supporters. He told me, hey, he said, listen, Papa Weave, when you're starting your channel, Instead of saying day 31, day 32, let's, let's hear season one, episode 32, 33, whatever it is. And he was right. It was a great, great email he sent me. You know, I don't, I don't upload videos every, every day. So newcomers that come on here, you may think, oh, wow, this channel is only 30 days old. Well, it's not. It's been around since October 2018. So when I start now, I'm going to start with, hey, guys, Papa Weave here, Weavester 18 channel. Welcome to episode 42. That's where we're at, guys. It's season one, episode 42. Thanks, Michael Vogel. It was a great, uh, great suggestion. And I took it to heart. Hey, guys, I want to talk a little today about... And first thing, I hope everyone had a great, had a great week. I hope everyone is doing well, um, doing what we have to do. I want to talk a little bit, guys. I want to talk a little bit about selfish, the word selfish. And the saying, don't take things for granted. Now, I was at the store the other day. Again, I, I, I say it a lot in my videos, but I live in an area with a lot of money. People with money. And I was, I was at the grocery store. I was, I don't know what aisle it was. I was getting my food, what I had to do. And there was a woman there. And I'm going to give you guys, I'm going to give you guys a visual. <laughs> I want to give you a visual the best I can. The woman, I don't know, maybe upper 50s, low 60s in age. Like this. And she had, she had someone getting the groceries for her. Oh, my God. And she's on the phone. She's on the phone. Oh, my God. I can't believe this virus. Now, she's talking. She's talking to someone else on the phone, obviously a friend or something, while the person that works for her is getting the groceries. And I'm doing this. Because her face was tighter than you could imagine. Looked like she was sucking on a lemon. Big Botox, Botox lips. The virus, the virus is killing me. I, I don't have my chef. I don't have my other maids. <laughs> this is tough to do. I don't have my other maids. I don't have my personal trainer. I don't have my chef, my maids. Oh, what am I going to do? What I'm trying to say here, guys, is all I heard from that woman, whoever she was talking to, probably someone that looked like her, was I... What am I going to do? What am I going to do without this? What am I going to do without that? There was no, how's he doing? How are you doing? How is my chef going to survive? How are these two maids that work for me? How are you guys doing? Selfish. It was just words of selfishness. 
Selfish is lack of consideration for others. Your concern is chiefly with one's own personal profit or pleasure. It's no good. I had to walk away from that woman. The appearance alone of a 60-year-old woman trying to trying to trying to look 25. I had to walk away. You know, you think that woman, guys, you think that woman takes things for granted. You think she you think she is thankful for all the things. Maybe she is. But like I said in other videos, guys, I'm thankful every day. Every day I go to bed, I'm thankful. Every morning I'm thankful. I don't take anything, anything for granted. You know, when Stephen was living and this disease was getting to him, I could see the progression. He started out when he first found out he was able to play the golf. He was able to do other things. But he was always thankful that he was able to do this. As the disease grew and it took certain things from him, his ability now to walk. Tough time talking. He did not look at the negative part of his situation. He didn't take anything for granted. He was thankful he could still use his hands. He got to the point where he knew he was going to pass away. And his question to myself and, and my wife, am I going to make it to 40 years old? A 14-year-old boy, am I going to make it to 40 years old? And we told him, no. He shed a tear. And he was in his bed, not able to walk. But he took nothing for granted. He said, I'm happy to be alive. I'm happy that I can start drawing. And I'm happy that I can please other people. He didn't think about himself. Oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? He said, what can I do to make other people happy? You know, I say... And a lot of my videos, I hurt. My back is killing me every day with the arthritis, stenosis. My right shoulder, I can't lift. I have bone on bone. But man, I look at these petty little things in my life. And I know that the positive parts that we all take for granted, outweigh these little ailments that I have. And I look, I look hard at everything that I have. Sight, hearing, taste, smell, all the things we take for granted. And I know if I start losing stuff, there's something there I could be thankful for and be happy for. Guys, episode 42, The Snake Contest. We have three drawings here. Two of them are from the gentleman I mentioned when I started this that gave me the advice on the episodes and seasons. He actually took third place this week. It's a great drawing. 
I love snakes. I love the whole look of the snake. Mystical snake, he says. It's an awesome drawing. Third place, episode 42, Michael Vogel. Now, between third and second, it was basically Michael and his daughter. His daughter, Skylar Vogel, is a tremendous artist, 11 years old, tremendous artist. I like the fact that she added a skull, the snake is wrapping around the skull, good coloring. I'm sorry, Michael, but your daughter took second place, episode 42. Skylar Fogel. Skylar also has a channel here on YouTube. Check her out. It's a fun channel. I'm subscribed. I guess I could turn this around. All right, guys, first place now. First place, episode 42. It's great art. This person took first, I'm, I'm, if I can remember, a few times. Great color. Great eyes. Great detail. Added some cool stuff. Proud to say, first place, episode 42, Dithu Kati. Chaku. All right, guys, that's it for the drawings. Hey, listen, we have one more week. One more basic week. Uh, not this Monday. This Monday is the 25th. The following Monday is the 1st of June. So please, guys, I think I just got one more snake drawing that just came in. I'll show that next time. We need more drawings. We need more competition from you guys. So please, draw a snake. I know you have it in you. I know you can do it. Just reach out and send whatever you have. I love them. All right? They're epic. Epic, epic. And guys, remember, take it to this weekend Remember how I started this video. Please, please take it to heart. Don't take things for granted. Be thankful for all we have, guys. Be thankful for all around you, all around you. We have so much in our lives. And the people that are going through these problems that don't have this, again, we can pray for them. We can say prayers and hope the best for other people that don't have things. That's a part of not being selfish. Don't be a, oh, Norena, what about me? What about? Don't be one of those. Care about people. Care about others. Care about yourself, but care about others. All right, guys? Everyone, please, safe, happy, healthy weekend. It's going to be nice. It's going to be sunny. It's going to be good times. Remember, remember, start memories, keep memories. All right, guys, remember this too. Right back here, right back here. Start each day with a positive thought. All right? And always, as Stephen said, keep positive, keep moving forward, and you'll be living life. Such a good saying. All right, guys, everyone have a great weekend. I will see you all soon on the next episode of the Weavester 18 with Papa Weave. Peace out, everyone.